finally the moment some of y'all have been waiting a long time for. I'm not good at this. Sorry. A redneck paradise? Yeah, that's 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 what we're living. Something fun is coming to the farm. There you go. Cliffhanger. Just gonna have to wait for it. Well, it feels strange to walk to the barn to check on Elmo's feed without a bottle in my hands. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. So, he's transitioned pretty well. He's eating his feed. He's not happy about not having a bottle, but, you know, so it goes. Hey, buddy. Good morning, buddy. Look, you got some new feeders. Daddy put in some new feeders last night. And you ate all your feet, so that's a good sign. Okay, buddy. Let's get you some more. All right. Here you go, monkey. Yes. That's good. Okay. I'm trying to get it in there. All right. He's got his feet. He's got his minerals. <laughs> He's got his hay. He's still got enough hay right now. And some clean water. That was just changed. It's good. Okay, buddy. What do you think? I think this feed is good, but I still would like a bottle. <laughs> wow. I know. I know. There's nothing there, bug. Nothing there. <laughs> All right, eat your feet. Eat your feet. We'll see you later, Gator. <laughs> Someone's rat hunting. What you got, Bonnie? Did you find one? <laughs> Is there one under there? <gasps> Skid it, girl. Skip it. Where is it? Where is it? It's here, Mom. I saw it. I smelled it. I know it's here. Get it, girl. Where is it? <laughs> Bonnie, where is it, Bonnie? I know it's in there, Mommy. <laughs> I don't know why this is so entertaining to me. It just is. And that little booty. That little booty. Back in the truck again, waiting on a silage wagon. Yeah, okay, not gonna be a top pick. I am multitasking this morning, y'all. This is a big week, this weekend. This weekend, I go to the North Carolina Farm Bureau Vision Conference. It's the first of its kind for our state. We're combining the women's conference and the young farmers and ranchers into one conference and they've asked me to speak about social media and videos. Imagine that. Never, never thought I'd be doing this, but here we are. So this morning, I'm multitasking, working on my presentation, waiting on silage, and um, really getting excited about this opportunity. I, uh, I'm excited to share some of my story and hopefully encourage others to share theirs and encourage you to share yours right now that's what i'm doing because the one thing that i am finding the more that i share is that the more people can relate whether you watch this as a farmer or a non-farmer you're watching because you're getting something out of this. I hope you are anyway. I hope you're learning things and being encouraged and inspired and and maybe entertained here and there. <laughs> That's the whole goal of being here. And I just really want to say again how much I appreciate those of you who watch regularly for my new subs. Thank you for being here. Um, some days, some days the negative comments get to me, but then I remember that to each his own, right? And um, we can't make everybody happy all the time. So 
if you are, are a loyal follower and you really enjoy what you're seeing, we enjoy sharing it with you and we're happy to have you here. We hope you'll stick around. I'm as tired of the mud as anybody and I'm ready to show something else. But for now, that's about all we've got. And this is what we're doing. And he's here and I gotta get out. Come and get it, girls. Getting a little tacky now. super hungry do they <laughs> okay cows are fed children are schooled Bonnie and I are heading up to the barn where I have cell phone service to do a little trough work someone asked um, what I did besides feed cows so this is part of it the homeschooling the house duties chores whatever you want to call them like keeping people fed and clothes washed and floors vacuumed once every two weeks swept daily uh, and then trough is work since I don't have any service at my house when I have to make business phone calls which I do relatively frequently lately <laughs> I come up here with Woodrow. Where you at, Woodrow? Right there, the weather station, Farmer's Edge. Um, and I make my phone calls and take care of business. So, yeah, um, I do a few other things than feed cows every day. <sighs> All right, ready, Bonnie? Let's get to work. It's a pretty morning. It's cold, but it's pretty. Good morning, Elmo. Are you ready for some feed? Let's see. Yes, you are. You ate it all. So I know a lot of you want to know what's going to happen to Elmo. Elmo's not going to get to stay on the farm forever, unfortunately. That's just not the way this works. He will get to leave his pen when he's big enough to go with the other calves um, and go out on pasture and be able to make it on grass and hay. Uh, right now, we can't do that. We can't put him out with the other calves because he doesn't have a mom and a nurse and he needs this feed, the starter feed, that has more nutrients in it than he would get from just a little bit of silage and hay. So, for now, Elmo is gonna stay in here and keep getting fed and in a few weeks, he's actually gonna have some playmates in here that are not calves. So we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but something fun is coming to the farm. There you go, cliffhanger. Just gonna have to wait for it. Well, the tractor we feed with is <laughs> low on fuel and we are low on fuel. We were supposed to have some delivered yesterday, but it didn't come. It's supposed to be coming today, and we hope it does, because we're out. We're out. So we're going to put what's left in here in the tractor and hope we make it through feeding this morning. Fingers crossed. Okay, that's done. The tractor has fuel, hopefully enough. While Bonnie and I are sitting in the sunshine, aren't we, girl? Yes, because it feels so good. I want to tell you about another YouTube channel to check out, Our Barnyard Life. Here? Here? One of those will be the right place. One day, I'm going to figure out where to point. Anyway, Ashley and her husband are in North Carolina, and they have a farmstead, homestead, farmstead, farm. They have a, they have a farm. A farm is a farm is a farm. Anyway, and she has a new channel and she's doing a great job and you should check them out. So, go do that. Woohoo, we get to farm another day, y'all. Fuel, we have fuel. We have fuel, we're cooking with fuel. We're farming with fuel. <laughs> 
You want to show me something, don't you? Mm-hmm. Just everybody that awesome shirt you got on first. What's it say? Uh, little dirt never hurt. Little dirt never hurt. Yep. Now in store. Now in the store. All right. Let's go see what what you've been doing. Also, maybe before next Christmas, we'll get the tree off of the stand. <laughs> we can't do it. It's too. We got to get some kind of vice grips or something. It's on there too hard. You think we could use it next year? I don't think so. Fire hazard. Oh, we could spray paint it. There's an idea. <laughs> Okay, so this is our old cattle trailer, which is obviously still functional, but the kids have converted it into a, okay, I don't know, fort. Hey. Okay. Yeah, how about that? Your daddy and I used to travel in this when we used to ride horses. We took it to the mountains, and we'd sleep up in this thing, and hang out in the back there to use the bathroom <laughs> in the middle of the night but oh those are the days the mattress went long way so her head was up there yeah yeah and we put tarps up on the side so we used to go to the mountains and we'd trail ride and um there was no like bathhouse or anything oh get off of there okay Okay, well, this, this is cool. All right. This, okay, you want me to watch you? This way out, I was going to tell you, this way I used to be at. We took the pins out. We used to have to climb up right here. Yeah. But now it's a ladder. Now it's a ladder instead of a bar. And these are the chairs. An old sled for chair. Okay. That's, that's a lounge chair now. See, since that was already tore, I cut it going. There's the mat. Very so good. Oh, that's our doormat? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I forgot to wipe my feet. Yeah. Okay. This is the Okay. <laughs> oh, you've got a good imagination. Y'all have played for hours out here. You can even have a little pool, indoor pool. Oh, yeah, an indoor pool, y'all. That's fancy. Oh, with dog food. <laughs> redneck paradise. A redneck paradise? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we're living. <laughs> Very good. Somebody has a climbing bug. You want to climb everything, don't you? Yep. Okay, <laughs> that's not safe. I have a hard time with my head. I just hit my head on that. I, I hit my head at least five times a day. And my knees. My head and my knees on the tractor. So. Your elbows hit my head. Here we go. All righty. Cool deal. Cool beans. Okay, now for a little corn crib update. If you saw my video, I don't know, four or five videos ago, um, I talked about this corn crib and how I wanted to convert it to a she shed, me shed, office, quiet place, something for me. <laughs> um, and y'all had a million and one amazing ideas. And I think we have a plan. I think we have a game plan, which I'm not going to go into detail yet. But I think this is going to happen, y'all. I have found some amazing help, which I will tell you about in the future. But right now, the sun is shining. I found myself with an hour or so, maybe, to just work on this. And I'm going to start cleaning it out. Because... We can't do anything without a clean slate. So, let's do this. The idea is to just take all the stuff out, put it on this trailer. Hello, trash. Yeah, I gotta go take trash off too. Um, put it on that trailer so at least have it out of the barn and then throw away what needs to be thrown away and put in the basement at Papa's what needs to go in the basement for now. So. Doop, do, doop, doop, doop. I don't know how much I can do by myself. I could do a lot of it, I think. We'll see. Okay, 
Okay, I might be slightly out of breath. I'm a little dirty. <laughs> but I got everything out but the um, sheetrock, which I'm not sure that we will use. But um, I'm not moving that right now because I don't have where to put it. But all this other stuff can get put elsewhere. <coughs> oh, as I die from dust inhalation. Yeah, okay. I think... I'm trying to decide if I want to blow it out. I think that's going to be detrimental to my health. So for now, I might sweep it and then blow it. We'll see.
more art than science.
Maybe it'll start this morning without being jumped. Yeah. All right, girl. Good deal. Hey, girls. You got some hay, don't ya? You moved it to a drier spot. Appreciate that. Hey, little one. Yes, run for your lives. Hey, you. <laughs> you ready for some silage? Y'all eating all of your corn? It's coming. Not in a hurry, are you? Baby talking to all the girls through the pit. <laughs> Hello, Gus. Where did you come from? Somebody let you out? Hmm? You heard the tractor? Yeah? Need to come see what was going on? Yeah, you're not supposed to jump. Hmm. <laughs> You're a pretty boy. You're a pretty boy. <gasps> 